when the first Enigma decrypts appear, they go to the head of the Secret Intelligence Service, Stuart Mingus, who's in charge overall of the Bletchley Park operation, and he hands them to a squadron of his, Frederick Winterbottom, who we may have heard of because he writes the book, which blows open the whole Bletchley Park story in the 1970s. But his role at this stage is to work out what to do with these messages. He goes to the heads of the intelligence departments at the Air Ministry and the War Office, and those people have never seen an Enigma message either, so they're pretty uninterested, to be honest, in this new source of intelligence. So Winterbottom puts together his own team here at Bletchley Park in his office here, which is in Hut 3. At that point, Hut 3 is a sort of overflow office space. Winterbottom takes four men, an army, air force, a naval officer and a civilian analyst. He puts them together in a small room with a table and three chairs and puts them to work reading enemy Enigma messages. They've never seen one before. They haven't got a clue what they're reading about because they don't have any of the background information. These are messages from the German Air Force, but they don't know how the German Air Force is organised, what the rank structure is, uh, what aircraft they're using. And initially they're pretty isolated, so they have to build this knowledge up from the ground up, from almost nothing. The uh, squadron leader actually doesn't even speak German, uh, but over time, Hut 3 does build up its knowledge. They go from interpreting and translating and disseminating dozens of messages a day later in 1940 to hundreds and eventually a couple of thousand a day later in the war when this section has grown to a strength of about 500 people. They move from that single room in the original Hut 3 into a new Hut 3, this building, and they're here for the first half of the war and eventually they move into one of the large blocks elsewhere on the site. What starts off as a complete improvised effort involving just a handful of people grows into one of the most important hubs of intelligence at Bletchley Park and indeed in the world.